Yo, what's up, guys? It is better. Welcome back to another video today. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Port Vale. Port Vale away. So, um, first away game in quite a while for me. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Port Vale, not too great. They lost 3 0 midweek to um, Peterborough, and uh, we won 3 1 last weekend uh, against uh, Wickham. So, yeah, great result. Not a great result for them. Hopefully, we can come out on top today. I'm feeling pretty confident about it. Um, we've got a great team, a great on form team as well. Uh, I think we're fourth in the league still. Um, so hopefully with a win today, it could uh, get us a bit closer to those automatics depending on uh, how the other teams in the league do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go through for a 3-0 three, three win today. I'm feeling very confident. Don't know why, because I'm overestimating Port Vale here. They could very well score. But, you know, I think... I'm just going to go cocky. And I think 3-0. I think Wednesday can do a job here today. And um, get some goals. goals. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the lineups. Right, guys, the lineups are as follows. In goal, we've got Stocky. Uh, right back, Palmer. Left back, Johnson. Uh... James Ehequa Hennigan uh, as our centre backs, Volks and Bannon in the midfield, and then we got like a front three kind of thing of uh, Wilkes, Windass, and Smith. So Gregory is out, probably injured due to the fact that he's not on the uh, on the bench. But yeah, the bench is as follows: Dawson, Hunt, Iorfa, Backinson, Derbyshire, Martin, and Patterson. So the bench isn't too bad. Martin on there, Derbyshire on there. Mm, not many great options, obviously, because we are our Wil Wilkes is actually starting today, and yeah, Gregory is injured. Uh, George By is still out as well because uh, Volks is playing ahead of him. Uh, McGuinness is also still out. I I thought he went on international break as well, but I think he is still out injured as well because he's not playing in our in our back three here. We got Hennigan, Hecker, and James. But yeah, I think I'd put him in back ahead of James if he come back in. But obviously, he's still out injured. But yeah, the team looks good, in my opinion. Um, again, fairly attacking. We got that like front free little thing that we had against Wickham, but this time just Wilkes in for Gregory. So it does look quite good. I am looking uh, forward to it. Hopefully we can do a lot of damage against Port Vale. But anyway, guys, that's just about it for match preview. Uh, now we're going to head to the game, to the stadium. Hopefully we can get the win. Come on the Owls. Right then guys, back from the game. I'm not gonna lie, the game was a bit underwhelming. We didn't actually play that well today, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, we got a bit of a scabby one today. It was a very, very good goal from uh, from William Volks, but um, yeah, I, I can't really um, comment much on the performance. It was all right, it wasn't amazing today. It really wasn't that good. Uh, we've, we've played a lot better this season, and especially against a team like Port Vale, so low down the league. Um, it was a pretty poor performance, in my opinion. Um, we could have played a lot better. Uh, um, I don't think we had that many chances either, to be honest. But uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. We'll move on to uh, Plymouth midweek. Um, Wilkes didn't play too well. Um, he didn't really live up to much expectation. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see either Gregory or Byers back in the squad uh, for Tuesday night. Um, he had his chance and he didn't really do much with it, which is a bit annoying because I do want to see him, you know, um, I do want to see him turn good. Uh, Wilkes was hyped up throughout the whole transfer window and he hasn't amounted to much really this this uh, season. Same with Mighton, although he wasn't hyped up as much, to be honest, he was a deadline day signing. But still, uh, yeah, I'd also like to see Mighton get a few minutes as well uh, against Plymouth or, um, or Cheltenham because he didn't play anything today. But, yeah, uh, apart from that, I think the defence was really good today, um, to be honest. It's, it's looking a lot better. We're getting a, like a bit more of a solidified back three. Uh, you know, the James Ehequa, Hennigan, especially Hennigan. Hennigan, he's a wall. He is absolutely amazing. He's a great defender. Like, you just can't, you just can't get it past him. You just can't. And, and I love it. 
James as well, he's he might not be tall, he might not win any edits, but my god is he he, he plays that role, left centre back, perfectly. Uh, and I apologise for saying McGinnis should go ahead of him at the start of the year because Jesus, James is is, is phenomenal. But yeah, um, Johnson was all right today. Some of his crosses were uh, diabolical, if I'm being honest. But um, yeah, Palmer was all right. The midfield two were running the game. Uh, Volks, I think, was really good today. Bannon was all right. Uh, he's had better games, but he did play fairly well. Uh, Windass was was all right as well. Um, drifting out wide, him and Bannon with the interchange again, like every game. I'm loving it. Uh, and I think Smith was quite good today as well, actually. Uh, running quite a lot. Um, he, has, he has got a lot of... Um, he, he seems actually quite fast, you know, Smith. And he's, he's got a bit of uh, he's got a bit of stamina about him. He, uh, he lasts... He runs literally all game. Uh, he, he seems to be playing literally 90 minutes every game at the moment, which I, which I do love. And uh, I'm not going to complain about. So, yeah, but he might have to come off uh, Plymouth. I mean, there's only so much he can do, right? He can't play 90 minutes twice in a row within four days. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Stockdale, I must say, a little complaint. His kicking today was pretty garbage. And um, I hope that does get worked on a bit because that was pretty uh, shocking, especially in the first half. It must have happened about four or five times. He just completely, like, just knocked it out for an um, opposition throwing. It was, it was really frustrating, you know, trying to get the attacks moving trying to you know inject something into the game and um, every time it went out for a goal kick for us we just lose the ball straight away it was it was so annoying I must say but yeah I'm so glad we got a goal when we did it was a great time to get the goal we uh, we managed to um, restructure a little bit and then um, solidify ourselves defensively and uh, Port Vale just couldn't really get anything um, attacking wise to be honest I think defensively again we, we were so good today just, one more, one more big praise for Will Volks because I've, I've been slagging him off on Twitter and in the videos, uh, calling him a uh, B Tech Lewis wing. But my God, was his goal good today? Was his goal good? And the celebration even better. I didn't even see it when we scored, but I saw it back on Twitter. My God, what a celebration! You know, he, he deserves a praise just for the backflip alone. So, congratulations, Will Volks. Yeah, he, he had a good game today. He, he did really had a good game. But yeah. I'm really happy with uh, with Wednesday today. Another three points onto Plymouth midweek, which is a, a right onker of a game. It's going to be a real tricky one. Um, but hopefully we can get through it. But up into third in the table, it's looking good for Wednesday. So stay positive Wednesday, guys. Hopefully we should be heading automatic very soon. And I'm looking forward to the rest of this season. Come on Wednesday. But anyway, if you like this one, guys, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the, uh, the bell icon down below to get notified every time I upload. And I'll really appreciate that one, guys. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.